Okay, so welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today I am uploading my first Hell Divers 2 update video and we're going to be covering the brand new update and giving you a heads up with what's going on right now um, because I know a lot of people have questions with jumping into the game. Now, if you haven't seen my channel before and you want to stay up to date with all types of games, survival games, Helldivers 2 being one of them, all that types of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel because I bring you guys this news daily. And also leave a like if you do get all the news you need to know. Let's hop into things right now, starting off with this update from the team. So they said, despite our efforts to our best efforts to increase server capacity to accommodate all of you who want to die for freedom, we are experiencing capacity, uh, capacity sorry issues. Um, we are we are once working more. What we are we are once work more working. <laughs> we are working more without delay to improve this issue, and we hope to ha have a fixed place as soon as possible. Thank you. So, I mean, look how crazy this is. 60,000 likes on a Twitter post um, from Helldivers 2 because everyone is trying to get into the game right now. I know the servers are meant to be getting a lot better. If you want the kind of idea for numbers, there is around 405,000 concurrent players right now as I speak on Steam, which is crazy. It's gone all the way up to number two, just uh, below Counter-Strike. And also, this is another good indication. Someone here called Corey Below said, to give a clear picture on the scale they're dealing with, HD1 peaked at around 7 to 10K players. Um, last night before the servers, um, there, were, uh, there were over 400K active hell divers in game in HD2, which is unbelievable. And something I'm really loving right now, I don't know if you guys are liking it, and I definitely feel it in the community, in the gaming community, is that these smaller um, uh, studios are releasing these really awesome games. And sometimes I feel like in the past, they just never may have seen the, the, the sort of love they've deserved. And I feel like people are just getting a bit sick of some of the biggest companies just releasing these games and they're just let downs all the time. And then these smaller companies are coming up and releasing these crazy fun games. And, uh, you know, Power World being one of them recently, Helldivers 2 being another one. It's just so great to see. So let's hop into the brand new update. So Helldivers, we have prepared a patch for today. This one continues to focus on stability and matchmaking, and we are separately working on the server issues that we're facing at the moment. We know that, that this is the highest urgency for most players, and we treat them very seriously. So fixes, the following fixes have been fixed for this version. So this is the stability and crashes. So fix the crash during extraction cutscene related to text to speech. Fix the crash happening during extraction in search and destroy missions after con um, consecutive mission and multiplayer missions. Fix the crash when getting disconnected during the joining cutscene. Fix the crash while shooting from the SMG 37 Defender in ADS mode. Um, fix the crash that rarely occurs relating to service data for footstep effects. Fix the crash relating to identical particle effects playing. Fix the crash that could occur in relation to accepting an invite. Um, as for matchmaking, fix an issue that caused us to send invalid data to multiplayer services. And they also improved lobby sorting to increase chance of connectivity. Balance and other fixes. Defend event difficulty has been reduced. Fix for suicide, impossible, and hell dive missions being too easy. Eradicate mission difficulty increased. Eradicate mission time has been increased to 15 minutes. Updated mission end uh, screen to display experience and requis requisition multiplier. Um, issue where multiple of the same stratagems could be brought to a mission has been resolved. Um, so that's the main things and there's some known issues which are being worked on and I will let you guys know as soon as the update goes live in a brand new video with when these have been sorted. So listed below are um, some of the significant issues that are being worked on and we were either introduced by this patch um, or, or, or from a previous version have not been fixed. Um, so back end issues during high load are improved but still persist in, and some of these issues include Login rate limited when many are logging in at the same time. Players can become disconnected during play. 
Rewards and other progress may be delayed or not attributed. Various UI issues may appear when the game interacts with servers. Pickup of certain objects in game may cause characters to freeze in place for an extended period of time and other unknown behaviors may occur. Japanese VO is missing from the intro cutscene and ship TV and armor values for light slash medium slash heavy armor do not currently function as intended. So that was the new update which has gone live for Helldivers 2 guys. There was an older patch which um, which probably doesn't matter as much now but they've done two within the space of the weekend which is crazy. Um, they've just been optimizing the servers here. I'll read through this one just in case you didn't know. Um, so as you see, um, uh, the overview for this patch, the major uh, focus was resolving crashes, improving matchmaking functionality, optimizing our server and defend Evan updates. Um, so they had optimization, playfab optimization, playfab environment optimized. All lobbies now have proper data to run more effective matchmaking. Filtering optimization. Uh, we are optimizing the filter system when players are searching in lobbies. So that excludes already full lobbies. Stability in crashes. And we have fixed three of the top crashes in the game, including the particle render crashes and ragdoll crashes. Um, fix an issue where the application prioritized integrated graphics over some GPU in laptops. Defend events and major orders. And for readability, um, well, readability purposes, we added a visual progression indicator to major order defend events. So you have to give credit to Helldivers and the team. You know, they really are going on, well, just under so much stress at the moment, and they did not expect it at all. This is exactly what happened with Pocket Pair with Power World and... Um, I have to say it's really, really awesome to see, um, you know, th th some of these students, you know, like also some of these students aren't getting any sleep. They're literally working all day and all night to give us what we want and be able to play the game. And, you know, this is just what makes me kind of excited for gaming again. I mean, obviously, I, you know, I'm gaming every day, but I just mean, and I know a lot of you guys have felt the same over the last couple of years. Gaming hasn't been always the same. Like it's, you've kind of felt a little bit like you need something fresh and new. And this, this exciting feeling of like all these new indie games and, um, you know, other stuff like that coming through is just a real excitement for the future of gaming for me because it feels like we're going to maybe get back to a place we've always wanted to get to where everything's not dominated by microtransactions, everything's not dominated by, you know, just the same thing we've experienced year after year after year. And uh, I'm so excited to keep covering Helldivers 2. It's a great game and I'm having a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, catch you in my next update video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. See you guys then.